Hi folks, it's Tuesday the 16th of August, it's nearly 5 o'clock after work and uh, I've arrived in the Archer Alps and I'm going to try and do a wee bivvy on the Brack, which is a wee hill I've always wanted to do, less unknown one in the Alps, um, but it has a nice wee lochen which I've seen on the internet and I'm hoping to be able to camp up there tonight. So we'll film this journey and see how the, the evening goes, the weather forecast has been brilliant, 27 and a half, 28 degrees all the way up the road which is pretty damn good for Scotland, so I'm just going to take advantage of it overnight and then back down early in the morning and straight back to work. Straight into the walk and there's a lovely view of the cobbler, which I've camped on many a time but it's very tempting when you see it in this weather. Looks lovely. Anyway, we continue. Well, as you can probably hear and see, I'm puffed. I took the left hand turn at the last junction instead of the right, so that's arrogance for you. Anyway, I've turned now, turned right, I've wasted about 15 minutes and that's me on the uh, hill track ready to up the brack, so hopefully it'll go better from here on up That's a nicer wee single track uh, almost with a bit of a scramble to start which I think they do say in the guidebook I guess there might be more scrambling to come further up Absolutely knackering, but you do get compensated by some of the views. The rest and be thankful with the traffic glistening as it goes up over the pass. Nice. Well, it's still a long slog, but I'm above the trees now. But I may be sweating and swearing, but my god, the uh, landscape is well worth it. Right across to the cobbler. Well, I think I must be quite near the loch on the call now. I'll show you a wee look around. It is really nice. Cobbler, Ben Eam, Ben um, Nain, I think, behind me there. Ah, it's beautiful. And we're just heading up now towards those crags, which I think will be the summit crags. That's an hour and 35. And as you can probably see from the colour of my face, I have done some serious exertion and lost a pint or so of water. So I'll need a big drink when we get up there and get camped up. I reckon maybe another 30 minutes to the loch. It's a long way down. I'm coming out over what appears to be the rise flattening out now. And you just hope if this is the lock-in, then it will look as nice as it does in the photographs. Uh, that's the anticipation, you know, as you look around, nice view over the rest of the hills, and back to the Arica Alps proper, and back up here, and hopefully, uh, ah, here we go, here we go. Oh, very nice. This, folks, is my campsite for the night. Quite a nice view looking that way as well, uh, down what will be Loch Long. Down towards some of the military installations and up Glen Douglas, I think, over there, where I was told that they kept the nuclear warheads, but I have a friend who's working in Fires Lane at the moment who tells me they're not there, but won't tell me where they are. Beautiful night. Quarter to seven. I think it's about time I put the tent up and get some tea on.
I'm absolutely buggered. Right, time to unpack the sleeping bag and mat, etc. Uh, and get the stove on and get something cooking at last, but this looks like a nice wee spot, so should be good. Beautiful. Well, that's dinner on, so begin to feel a bit more human now. I've cooled down, the sweat's drying out, I've got some water down me. Tents up, nice little pitch, looks okay, it's got good views. Looking towards uh, Loch Long, to the loch, and over to the cobbler and Ben Narnane. So, nice wee spot. Spend the night. Um, and I even got a mobile signal, so I might even be able to stream some TV, some Olympics later on, which will be a wee bonus. So I've had the uh, soup, I'm on the main course. And so we are wonderfully uh, upmarket. Tesco's value tomato and onion pasta. Never mind, that's what happens when you go at short notice. One of the most galling things about today was I took the Rab Summit bivvy with me because the forecast was for some fairly gusty winds and I didn't really fancy the uh, Six Moons design Luna Solo as a shelter because it might have been a bit fragile. But as it turns out, there's a breeze but it's, it's keeping the midges away. Um, but I could easily have gone and taken the Luna Solo at 600 grams instead of carrying this beastie at uh, one and a half kilos. I know it's not exactly heavy but at my age every ounce counts. It's getting kind of a bit chillier now. I think it's time to sort some of the gear out. Uh, sleeping bag seems to have lofted a wee bit. It's not too bad. I might be needing this jacket shortly as well. The look of it. Not too many beasties in here. Um, I put the midget net on at the front. So what I'll probably do is sleep with the door open tonight and just the midget net and that should minimise condensation. Uh, after all, it's a great night, and I've been in a t-shirt right up until about half eight, which is an amazing night. So that's why you've really got to go out and take advantage of it. So it's about uh, 20 to nine. I was going to head up to the summit, which is just above me here. I think about maybe another 500 feet, I'm not sure, maybe not as much as that. But to be honest, I'm comfortable where I am. I've had a nice day. It's a very quick overnight. I've got to get up very early in the morning as well. So I'm going to have an early night and head back to work in time for nine o'clock tomorrow, touch wood. But you know, the light's fading now. Nice just to sit out for 10, 15 minutes till it gets dark. It's such a gorgeous night. Tonight I'm going to try sleeping with a modded midget net. So that will allow me to keep the door pretty much half open or fully open. Should keep any condensation down and keep the midges out. Because you don't get much better weather than this, so it's a good time to try it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it's about ten past nine. I've just... Wind's getting up a wee bit. It's getting a wee bit colder now, so... I thought I'd just retire to the tent and I'll put the radio on and whatnot. Um, just really wanted to show you the inside of it. As you can see here, you, as you can probably tell, I'm not particularly tall and I'm stooping slightly at the top part of the uh, tent here. So it's very, very low, very wind stable, but low. So if you like your tent strong in extreme weather, it's a great wee bomb proof place to be. But uh, don't expect a lot of room, although it's meant to be two a person tent. I haven't tried it with two people yet. My wife says she'll give it a go, but it could be a very cosy night. But uh, it's great, it feels very, very secure. I've put the midget net mesh up as well so they can leave the door wide open and you can't see it here but there's a vent 
uh, which is wide open here as well, a snow vent, just letting some air through. So condensation, hopefully we can keep to a minimum tonight. It's just a wee view, look into the rear, so as you can see the snow vent I was telling you about, come air vent. It's got a metal wire running on the top of it, a stiffener here, so you can shape it and let as little or as much air in as you want. And then you can also pull it in and uh, close it up with a draw cord. Um, and that'll keep any snow, rain, wind, etc. out. So, very simple, but quite a smart wee tent. Well, I've just come outside to brush my teeth before I go to my bed. And beautiful moonlight and the lights of... Helen's bra. Actually, you can't really see them down there, but there are more than that. But it's a fantastic night. I heard the braying of some deer earlier on, but they seem to have disappeared. So I'm just going to brush my teeth, hit the sack, and leave the door open so as I can maybe do some star watching. The moon's certainly maybe killing it a wee bit, but it's uh, nice in its own right. Five to six in the morning, that's a very different day outside. The clouds right down, no visibility. Um, the sun's yet to come up and burn it off. Well, morning everybody, 6 o'clock in the morning, just put the tea on, a wee bit of a fitful sleep, such as the way of these things, woke it up to quite a lot of cloud, but I reckon it will burn off eventually, as you can probably see, big difference from last night, uh, quite a lot of uh, noise during the night, dogs, deer, fireworks, God knows what else, considering the height I'm at, but uh, Anyway, it's time to head back home. Well, that's me down. It's 20 to 8. Time to hit the hit work and get back to uh, reality. So thanks again for watching everybody and uh, hopefully the next video might be Sylvan, which is one I'm looking forward to.